Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another Cardfight Vanguard Triple Drive Booster box opening. I have four more boxes of Triple Drive Booster to open for you all. This was from my second pre-order that I picked up. And this box, you know, as a shame as it is, is completely sold out everywhere. I hate when they, you know, try to make a reprint set to make things more readily available, and then they don't print enough of the actual set, making it so people can't get the cards they want from the set, including the two new decks to build which you can see both of the main grade threes are completely sold out in a good amount of different stores so how are people supposed to build these decks when you can't even get the support for them and the set just recently came out as well but hopefully we do see maybe like a resurgence of this set it is a really really good set with all the reprinted cards so all we can do is hope that they end up you know listening to their fans and doing so but let's go ahead and open up the boxes that we have and see what we get we should get the one illustration rare Per box as well. So, four boxes with this one. We opened three in the last. Let's see how we do. And I believe the promo is the same for all of them the Stealth Fiend Shenry. And hopefully, our, you know, illustration rares are pretty mixed throughout the boxes. All right, we have a Cardinal Deuce Orphist. <laughs> As I say that, first pack again. This has been happening a lot. Stem Deviate Dragon. This is the critical trigger for Dark States, and that is our illustration rare for the first box right on top again. I had one where it was the last pack in the box, but this one, we have the first pack having it again. And then we also have one who governs chaos for our rare. All right, so we're starting off pretty strong with another alt art. Uh, you know, trigger for this one. Next pack, we have Dragon Girl of Flame Blossoms, Rady Lena, Aurora Battle Princess, Seraph Snow, and Refablishment Doc, which I think was only like a rare. So still pretty crazy that they would reprint a rare or a common even of all things. I guess if it's a common remain to a rare is a rarity bump. We have Great Sword of Fierce Black Flame, Obscure Died. Aurora Battle Princess, Accuse, Macarite, and Smith Apprentice, Zedlons. I need other support for the Zedlons deck. I don't need more starters. I'm pretty sure I have three starters at this point. You only need one starter. So I have extra Zedlon starters if anyone needs them for their Armor Smith deck. We have Gravidia, Nordlinger for the Gravidia deck. Uh, Phantasmic Stealthine, Megalona Zuchi. And Oath Vengeance, the Grey. I don't know how many of this order, since it's a set order that you run in the, the Grey deck. Maybe like one or two copies. But that is my second copy of that. Hopefully I can pull a couple of broken toys also from these boxes. Here is Soul Awakening Dragon Horse, Lohanamuras. This is the armor for the new Keter unit. Awesome. We have Apex Ruler Bastion and Aspiring Maiden Alana. So our first critical trigger for the, or our first trigger, aside from the Altar Dark State one that we pulled from the first pack. But let's see if we get a pretty awesome triple from this one. And we have Twin Direful Dolls, Riri Me, one of the two glitter units for Tamayura. Nice, we have Guard Running Through the Earth, Maris. This is a pretty expensive double rare just because it's needed for the um, new Lahan deck and Flaming Pony in the same rarity that it was initially for the set that it came out in also it's also had a promo reprinting along with its position here and we have nice atrocious moth girl maple so another good glitter we're pulling all the glitter triple rares from this set i've noticed we also have gather upon you wandering souls and ardor hatchet dragon for the dragonic overlord deck yeah once again this is definitely the glitter booster box and we have three packs left to pull so hopefully we can pull a zedlan or a Lahan from these. We have Go Ahead Makani, another good grade one to pull. The World is a Blue Research Lab for the Eva deck. And another trigger, Blaze Maiden Parama for our second trigger, not including the Altar that we got from this box. Away some of these wrappers here, try not to knock over the camera stand as well. And second to last pack. We gotta pull another glitter unit, are we? Let's see. Yep, we have, ladies and gentlemen, Rarami. Yep, this is definitely the glitter box here. We have Stealth Fiend Forktail. That's actually a pretty pricey double rare as well from this set, just because it's used in the stealth decks and the glitter decks. So it definitely needed one there. And Ameliorate Connector for our draw trigger. And last pack. Let's see. We've got three more boxes to open still, but last pack from this box. And we have Demonic Stone Dragon Rocker Gore, another good triple rare for the Drajul deck. Diablos Returner Derek, 
and Knight of Old Fate Cordiella. I'm hoping I can pull one more Emmeline. I thought I had a playset from the last box opening, but I do need one more Emmeline to complete my playset for the Blaster Blade promo. So on to box number two. Let's see how we pull. And one thing, I got these boxes for a pretty good price because they were on pre-order, but anyone who's selling them now is definitely overvaluing, you know, than their normal retail price. But yeah, it's insane that they just don't print enough of these reprint sets. Should I really try and open the first pack again? Let's see if I get another Altart right from the first pack or not. All right, first pack, we have Tamayura. And all right, nope, we got a Sturdy Wall Equips Vils Virina and my fourth Smith Apprentice Zedlon's starter. That is just a guarantee, but at least we didn't start off with the illustration rare for this pack. Another Tamayura is cool though. All right, next we have another Go Ahead Makani. And oh, there it is, very nice. Apex Ruler Bastion. This is the normal Bastion, but I was hoping I wouldn't just keep getting the trigger units. I wanted to see some of these awesome illustration arts for main grade threes in decks. And this one definitely does look very, very nice. And we have Resolute Pair of Eyes as well. Definitely getting a lot of the glitter units, but it is once again the second pack in and we have the illustration rare, but very cool that I got another grade three unit one to pull. Here's another Gravidia Nordlinger, another Diablos Returner Derek, and a Patrol Robo Decker Cop for our first trigger from the box. I, think I might have a playset of Nordlinger now also with all the ones I've pulled. Next we have Twin Direful Dolls Ririmi, another Stealth Fiend Forktail, nice, and Benediction Sage, one of the grade ones needed for the Lahan deck, so good pull there. I'm hoping I can pull one or two of the grade threes from each of these boxes. I wanna see some of those pulled. And triple rare pulled is the one who blooms in the dark, the Greya, for the you know evil version of the Greya. Witch of Accumulation, Sequana, and one who governs chaos. How many, there should be a good number of rares. I'm pulling doubles of a good number of them already. 38 types of rares, and I'm seeing plenty of doubles already, whether it's my starter or one who governs chaos. Next we have another Rady Lena for our glitter unit. Another world is a blue research lab and guard running through the earth Lahan. I don't know if I have this grade two or not, but it's part of the ride deck. So definitely one needed if I haven't pulled it already. I'll have to organize everything from all my boxes once I'm finished. And another rocker gore. We're pulling a lot of this. Have I pulled all the same? Aside from the Thagrea, have all these been pulled? And Tamayura, they've all been pulled from the previous box. Here's another Maris. That's a good pull for sure. And a Flare Veil Dragon. Awesome. I think I pulled some of the more expensive, you know, double rares from this pack at least. And, oh, nice, there's Lahan. So I'm glad we were able to pull a copy of him and only in through the second box. We have Song of Extolment can be heard and Fairy of Candor Darien. Hopefully I can pull the Dragon Empire Blacksmith Dragon also. Let's see, and we have Chakrabarthi Phoenix Dragon Nirvana Jiva, another cool one to get. Another Stealth Fiend Megalo Nozuchi, and Aurora Battle Princess Cuffspring for our rare. And last pack from the second box. Let's see, and on something I haven't seen yet from these boxes, and we have, yep, Grand March of Full Bloom Leonorn. I think you only really need to run one copy of this card if you're running the Vivas Leonorn with her new skill, and another Aurora Battle Princess Seraph Snow, and a Bard of Heavenly Song Alpac. Nice. All right, on to box number three. And this one, I'm going to organize some of the foils. There's another look at that awesome Bastion as well. This one, I'm going to mix up the packs because then I will leave it up to fate. If I pull the Altart illustration first, then it's my own fault. We won't know how they were positioned in the box. We will just know that I mixed them up myself to do so. So let's go ahead. Shuffle these packs up as good as I can, and hopefully I don't just reset them back to their initial order. But let's see, all right. Packs laid out, we got 10 to work with. First pack in, am I pulling that illustration rare? We have, oh nice, Apex Surpassing Bastion Prime, Galactic Base Igus, and Flaming Pony. All right, so not off the first pack, but we did pull a Bastion Prime, which I think my first of the Bastion Primes pulled. Performing Petal Diantha, uh, Wrought Iron Workshop, Burning Flames for the Blacksmith Dragon deck, and a Blaze Maiden Piranha. 
I think Diop is another good triple rare to pull just because it's a very good Stoikea staple. Here's Blitz CEO Welstra, Nucleate Angel, and Knight of Old Fate Cordiella. All right. Three packs, and now I can pull the illustration rare and at least know that I mixed up the packs pretty well. So, pack number four we have Approaching Fangs Chaos to the Shining Stage and another Ardor Hatchet Dragon. I like how they reprinted the promos, but we didn't have a reprint of Dragonic Overlord or Phantom Blaster Dragon or their cross ride counterparts in this pack. Here's Verena Asperidea. Oh, nice. There's Emmeline. So now I definitely have my playset for the Blaster Blade deck. Definitely happy about that. And another refablishment dock for our rare. Pack number. I've opened up five so far. All right. Did a good job in shuffling up the packs. We have Pink Moth Girl Maple, Scarlet of Fluttering Evanescent Life, and Stem Devier Dragon, which this is the art, and I got the alt art. You can't really tell from this one as much that it almost looks like a like a ninja kind of character with its scarf and everything. You can definitely see that much more in the alt art for it. Pack number seven. We have Diablos Unrivaled Bruce, Diablos Jetbacker Leonard, and Ameliorate Connector for our rare. I think I shuffled these up pretty well. Let's see, did I end up putting it on the back? We have Jeweled Sword Equip Group Virena. We just might have Sylvan Horn Beast Magnolia and another Oath of Vengeance the Greya for our rare. I think I did a pretty nice job mixing these up properly to lead to some suspense. Let's see, we have Aurora Fierce Princess, Seraph Pure Light. <laughs> Look at that, I actually think I put it in the back. We have Flower of Ruin Castle and Posa and Wrought Iron Knight Hadid. This is actually one of the backup rares. At least it wasn't the starter this time around for these at Lon's deck. And all right, so mission accomplished. I'll open up the last box normally once we get to box number four, but this one should have the illustration rare. So let's see what we pull first. All right, so this should be the card right there. We'll have our first two, so a triple rare. And a ra oh, nice. And even with it having the illustration rare, we pulled a Bracing Angel Ladder. This is a very, very good triple rare, very expensive triple rare. I completely forgot this was in this pack. I wasn't pulling any, so I wasn't remembering it. They made it so expensive and I think also very short print. But it is a Regalis piece. So you can only run one Regalis piece in the deck, but we pulled it very nice. And our rare is Alana. So we also have have the illustration rare let's see what it is as i knock it to the ground and we have ameliorate connector another one of the trigger spots here but it is a very awesome looking one draw trigger for brontgate that pack alone having an illustration rare and the bracing angel ladder in crazy pack that is for sure but that was a very awesome box as well and that's the power of shuffling up packs beforehand maybe i'm almost tempted to do it with this pack but we'll leave it to its own transgressions. Let's see. Can we pull well? Just going to go right into the box. Let's see how we do. The promo. Last 10 packs. All right. We have Blitzy uh, Welstra, Sylvanhorn Beast Magnolia, Ruse Wildmaster Riley, another Nirvana Shiva, Oh, nice. We pulled it second pack again, but it's another grade three. So very awesome. Sylvanhorn Beast Magnolia. I'm glad I pulled two triggers and two of the actual Altart grade three vanguards. That one looks very, very nice also. Very, very cool. And oh, I missed it, but a stem Devier Dragon. But we're not done yet because I'm really hoping to pull some more cards for the exclusive decks. I want to pull one of the Welding Dragons potentially. Let's see. And we have Diablos Unrivaled Bruce. Galactic Base Igus, and up here's one of the rares for it, Wrought Iron Soldier Dragon, Lightning Surge Dragon, and next pack, come on, give me a good one, let's see, another Full Bloom Leonorn, Song of Extolment can be heard, and here's another Wrought Iron Knight Hadid, so at least I'm pulling rares I need, show me the grade three, let's see, and we have... Uh, approaching Fangs, Chaos. Here's one of the uh, Iron Workshops and Blade Feather Dragon, our first Blade Feather Dragon. Am I gonna get another glitter unit with this one? Yep, yeah, it is One Who Blooms in the Dark, the Greya. 
Sturdy Walleye Quip Vils Virena, and Dreaming Bonds Lahan. I don't think I have the starter, so that's good that I was able to fool, you know, one of the first for the starters. How many packs do we have left? Four packs remaining. And our triple rare is, oh nice, a Soul Awakening Guard Lahan. That means I have three copies of this card. Not bad at all. Witch of Accumulation Sequana and Serene Maiden Lena as well. So at least I'm pulling. Maybe I can pull one more of the Ironsmith or one more Regalis piece. I got one, so I'm at least happy with that. But let's see. And we, oh, nice, another Bracing Angel Ladder. Beautiful. From four boxes, we pulled two of this very expensive card. I wasn't expecting that, but that's a great pull. A Nucleate Angel and Forest Hunting Protect, Forest Protecting Hunter Prosper. All right, so I'm very happy with these boxes. Pulling two Bracing Angel Ladders from four boxes. Second to last pack, and we have Deepening Night Tamayura to the Shining Stage and Cardinal Draco Imperio. And last pack. Let's see. And our final triple rare is another performing pedal de Oh, All in all, I'm very happy with these. I didn't pull anything too, too crazy for the illustration rares. I did pull two grade threes and two triggers. And I was able to pull two bracing angel ladders, where I think were some of the best pulls for sure, with just, I think, how short print they made that Regalis piece. But we end it with Deontha. Leonard and oh nice we did pull broken toys as well so very happy at least we ended up pulling one copy I got my playset of Emmeline I didn't see any of the Dragon Empire one for Dragonic Overlord sadly but at least I was able to continue in you know creating a bunch of other decks including finishing at least a good majority of the grade threes for the Lahan deck and once again some copies of Bracing Angel Ladder and the beautiful Alt Art grade threes as well for two very well-known decks on top of that also but i hope you all enjoyed the opening and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira qualia out